this is a self-leveling cross-line laser level. In this video, we'll take a close look at the clever mechanism inside to see how it works. Before we jump into the inner workings of a laser level, let's first look at the key external and internal components involved. Let's get started. A laser level is a tool that projects a laser beam in the form of a dot, a horizontal line, a vertical line, or cross lines. The laser beam acts as a precise visual reference for aligning and leveling objects. It can be red or green, with green lasers being more visible, especially in daylight. What makes this tool unique compared to traditional levels is its ability to automatically level itself even if the base is not level. Before we dive in, can you guess how far a line laser can reach? Watch till the end of this video to find out if you're right. Drop your guesses in the comments below. This is the window through which the laser beam is projected. This is a threaded mount. It allows the laser level to be mounted on a tripod for stability during use and height adjustment. This is the battery compartment. It holds the batteries that power the device. This is the power switch where you can turn the device on and off. Now let's take a closer look inside the laser level. This is the laser module that emits the laser beam. Inside, there is a laser diode, a semiconductor device that emits coherent light when a voltage is applied to it. The laser diode is made of two semiconductor materials, the p-type layer that has an axis of holes, or in other words, a lack of electrons, and the n-type layer that has an excess of electrons. Between these two semiconductor materials, there's an active layer where the laser light is generated. Metal contacts are attached to the N-type and the P-type material to allow electric current to flow through the diode. The ends of the diode are coated with mirror-like materials to reflect light and create an optical cavity. One end is fully reflective and the opposite end is highly reflective but can let some light out. When an electric current flows through the diode, electrons and holes flow and combine in the active layer. This process releases photons. Some of these photons interact with other electrons to produce even more photons. The photons bounce back and forth between the reflective internal surfaces of the diode, amplifying the light. Now, while we're on the subject of amplifying the light, we want to take a moment and thank each and every one of you for helping us amplify ours. We've just hit 90,000 subscribers on YouTube and we couldn't have done it without your incredible support. Your likes, comments and subscriptions keep us motivated to create more videos and we're truly grateful. And for those of you who would like to go even further to support our channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below. There you can gain access to exclusive perks and help us continue creating more videos and post them more frequently. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Now let's get back to the video. Eventually, the light builds up enough intensity to escape through one end of the diode producing a laser beam. The laser beam is then split into two beams that are directed through cylindrical lenses to form perpendicular lines. This is the main printed circuit board assembly that controls all the laser level functions. Mounted on the edge of the main PCBA is a limit switch that turns on the laser beam when activated. The laser module is mounted on a pendulum. The pendulum is free to swing in two axes. It hangs from the housing and uses the force of gravity to level itself. When the laser level is tilted in any direction, the pendulum swings to compensate, ensuring that the laser beam remains perfectly level. The pendulum frame is made of steel and hangs directly over a magnet. The magnet dampens the motion of the pendulum and helps it to quickly stabilize. This is the electronic sensor that monitors the position of the pendulum. It's mounted on a second printed circuit board assembly, connected to the main printed circuit board by three wires. If the pendulum deviates beyond a certain angle, typically within plus or minus four degrees of level, the sensors trigger a signal that shuts off or makes the laser blink to prevent incorrect readings. Some laser levels may also provide an audible warning when the pendulum moves past the allowable threshold. When the power switch is on the on position, it raises the pendulum locking arm up, allowing the pendulum to move freely. 
while simultaneously activating the limit switch that powers on the laser. Moving the switch to the off position moves the pendulum locking arm down, deactivating the limit switch while simultaneously locking the pendulum so it doesn't move during transport. As promised, it's time to reveal how far a line laser can reach. The maximum reach of a line laser can vary based on the environment and whether a detector is used. Indoors, a line laser can reach up to about 30 meters without significant loss of visibility. Outdoors, in bright daylight conditions, the range of a line laser can diminish to around 10 meters or less. When paired with a laser detector, the range of a line laser can extend up to 50 meters or more. The visibility of the laser line also depends on factors like the laser's color, green being more visible than red, the power of the laser, and the ambient lighting conditions. Let us know in the comments if you guessed correctly.